Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, okay. Welcome back to another episode of Midnight in Salem, Nancy Drew. For everyone who joined in the first one, I do appreciate it. Uh, for this one, I won't be having my webcam on. For some reason, they there was some sort of weird lag. I fixed it on YouTube, so it won't be a problem if you guys are watching this otherwise. And if you are watching on YouTube, I, I do first uh, stream these on Twitch, so... If you ever want to catch me live and comment, you can do that. Uh, yeah, so we'll get right into it. First part, if you haven't watched it, I recommend it because there's a lot that happened obviously in the beginning. And actually, before we get too into it, I'm going to let everyone know that I am streaming. And yeah, so actually last time I figured out this game was developed by not the original people, it's just still sold through her through her interactive um sorry so it, it was in development for four years I think I may have mentioned that before but maybe not Twitch chat right now. Cool. All right. Now I know the museum is kind of next, but let's talk to these people. Oh, okay. Hi, hello, DeAndre. Fire at Hathorn House. We all know certain renegades in this town know something or two about fire. Yeah, that game seems a little smoother. I don't know why my webcam would do it again, do you? Like do so much with my CPU power, but it's probably something off my settings I'll have to figure out, but. Where there's smoke, for this game. There's fire. Mm. Uh, well, at least for this video, I should say. I'll, she's I'll bound change to it. already be in the sights of the neighborhood watch, so we'll find out soon enough. My thoughts exactly. Okay, so can talk to him. Everyone's just blaming her. I'm guessing this is the museum too. Oh, DeAndre, you gotta work on that, bud. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is the right. I want a picture of Little Liberty. I wish I could, like, talk to them. Like, hey, what's It'll that? It'll be more useful to explore the graveyard with a tour guide. I feel like that's the opposite of what would be good. Especially considering Nancy Drew. What's the guy? Tianjie just pops up, man. It really freaks me out. She doesn't walk. She exists. Everything you could ever want to know about Salem's history. From the Namkiag people to the Great Salem Fire of 1914. I hope you guys can hear this. Actually, the setting should be the same as last time, so. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I want to see it. Let's see. Oh, I have to hold down to look. It's so weird. Hmm. What is up with these candles? Oh well. Okay. Hey, sorry about the mess. We're in the middle of hey, installing DeAndre, a big Hey, DeAndre, you, you could turn around so maybe to be a part of this conversation. So we decided to do the real witches tour. Oh, you talked to Olivia. What's with her getup? Witch? Street magician maybe? Everyone has to make a living. Is she telling the story about a coven living here in the recent past? Yeah. Why? Just bad taste. Olivia is quite the local character. I think she's probably I pretty good for the local, like, tour. revenue for the I town, so maybe... The town. And, and she actually was kind of the nicest person that I've seen. ...is kind of a habit I've gotten into. I'm excited to look around the museum. Of course. Find a tour ticket. How's the investigating going? Oh, Any... I've got some leads. I haven't had much progress with May though. Yeah, I she's a dick. I, I don't like May at all. She doesn't have redeeming qualities. If you have time. Sure thing. How can I help? Oh, what? What's this new showcase about? Yes, 
when I talked to her, I had the intention of asking her questions, but you have to do it twice. Very strange. But what is it about? If you come back on Halloween, I'll show you. Ooh. We came across a protester who was part of the accused witches organization. Do you know anything about them? The poor men and women who were accused of witchcraft in 1692 were killed and robbed under the guise of justice. Because of that, their descendants, the AW They are descendants of nothing. They're just people with too much time on their hands. That's what I think. They even filed a claim for ownership of the Hathorn House. Oh, so they... Dude, how would they even dispute that amongst themselves? So what's the deal with these pumpkins? Oh, what's the yeah. deal with these pumpkins? The pumpkins that visitors can carve and bring with them to place around Salem. Feel free to give it a try if you want. It's really fun and completely free. Talk to you later. Ooh, just said I could mess with it, right? Oh, uh, okay. <gasps> Customized pumpkins, wow. We've come so far as a community, Nancy Drew. People. <gasps> I like that one. I want like a tee hee face. Oh, I don't like that. I like that. Done. This looks great. Now to find a nice place to put it. That's so weird, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, what is that? The figure of a Puritan woman accused of being a witch. These were ordinary people, just like anyone else. That's... Very creepy. I don't want to do that. Closed off. Looks like they're preparing a new installation. Well, I don't have any money. Do I have to like find a job? Okay, DeAndre, can you please? Oh, look at these. Let's see. Yes, let's see. So annoying. Ooh, that book looks like I can grab it. Roger Conant found Salem in 1626 as a colonial town which first called now Naumkeg for the settlement location at the mouth of the Naumkeg River. Settlers wanted to call it Salem, inspired by the Hebrew word for peace. Interesting. Oh, Salam. Salem. I don't know what? I think that's Arabic. Uh, despite the peaceful beginnings as a settlement of immigrants, Salem is best remembered for the witch trials of the 17th century, the deadliest witch hunt in American history. England had their own witch trials also in the 17th century and had passed a witchcraft act, making it a law to put anyone who practiced witchcraft to be put to death. Settlers knew about the dangers of witchcraft through their own histories, but history still repeated itself. Boy. From 1692 until 19... Ugh. From 1692 until 1693, over 200 were accused. The court of Oyer, the terminer, was established by Gover Governor William Phipps. That's a weird name. To interrogate those accused of the work of the devil witchcraft. Phipps and his active deputy governor, Thomas Danforth, which we learned about, both men of position and wealth appointed judges to preside over the trials. One of the harshest judges on the accused was the rich and powerful magistrate, Judge John Judge John Hathorne. Hawthorne's examinations and interrogations relied on sp spectral evidence, and it had been noted in history that often judged with an assumption of guilt. Many believe the accusers often gained in wealth and land rights from their accusations and sentencings that solely based on spectral evidence. After the dark period of the trials, laws were changed and Salem's shipping and merchant economy grew. The settlement became a place of assembly for officials during the War of Independence. Many luminaries, sure, whatever, hailed from Salem, including noted author Nathaniel Hawthorne, born in 18, 1804. Interesting. Um, I figure you guys probably be interested in this. I know I am. I like the the lore of Nancy Drew. Sad that even children are named in the list of those accused witches. Jeez. Like Abigail Johnson, just eleven. Ugh. 
I don't like that at all. Um, I f yeah, I'm, I'll read these. I'm interested. The Salem witch trials were a tragic time where the accused of witchcraft were not only adults, the hysteria and accusations implicated even the youngest in Salem, the children. Many children were accused, tried, and put into prison. I th I'm guessing the stuff is true. Maybe not the full details, but yeah. In 1692, Abigail Johnson, at the age of 11, was one such child accused of witchcraft. Her mother, Elizabeth Johnson Sr., was also accused of witchcraft in the trials. Abigail had lost her father just two years before the Salem trials, and she was being raised by her mother and grandfather. The trials were known for the accusing of many widows and people who had been in trouble for a number of reasons, especially those who had relatives who were outspoken against the trials or came from position of wealth. Such was the case for young Abigail. History notes that her grandfather was an early critic of the witch trials and was known to be outspoken about the injustice of the trials proceedings. Abigail, numerous, numerous members of Abigail's family were accused of witchcraft. Is that where A.W. comes from? The examinations were known to take into account members of the families for many of the accused. For Abigail, this included her mother, her sister, and one of the, and one of the more famous persons accused in the trials, her aunt Abigail Faulkner. Aunt Abigail Faulkner was arrested around the same time as young Abigail and accused of afflicting others, resulting in her confession. For Abigail Johnson, this time in her life was a long series of examinations, accusations, trials, and depositions. Her aunt was arrested on August 11th of 1692. Her testimonies resulted in an arrest warrant being issued for the young Abigail Johnson on August 29, even though she was only 11. Abigail, widowed mother, was also arrested. Jeez. The Johnsons were arrested and examined on September 6th, shortly after Abigail's brother was arrested. Other family members, including her cousins, were examined and recorded as being among the young children who were accused of witches in Salem. Golly. That is tough, dude. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, DeAndre, you've really got to work on that, dude. Maybe I can go through this door? Cool. No, I can't. Is this is the museum, right? I gotta have like a checklist, right? Go to the Go on the witch tour. Yeah, how do I do that? sure that's the museum. Uh, what is that? It's locked. Oh. Well, we have the tickets. Let's go see the lame witch of Salem. Oops. I mean real witch. Where is it? I wasn't paying attention. Shit. Is it in there? and upstairs. How do I get up there? <laughs> I hope everybody who plays this is like me right now and I'm not just really stupid. Although I'm sure anyone who's played is like, oh dude, it's so obvious. I can't believe you haven't seen it yet. It wasn't Tomorrow. Is there actually a time, or is that just something that they're just saying because I haven't done something yet? Is there a map or something that I can work off of? 
is like those photos. Can I take a picture of myself? Sweet. Nice. Is it the lady who does the tours? Maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe I... Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Oh, screw you, Olivia. Talk to you later. The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. Okay. No wonder they closed it off. The ground is still crumbling. I think I might look up a guide real quick. I want to know where this... Before I look around too much. something already that's good go outside and follow to Olivia apply a tour ticket on it to get a tablet what Olivia was the weird annoying chick right Oh, do I just just give it to her? This tour sounds interesting. Welcome on my tour. Oh, Thank you. okay. It was a lot easier than I thought it was. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Wait, I just gave her my ticket. Talk to you later. Wait, do I not have it anymore? Oh. What the frick? Oh, wait. There we go. Let the raven be your guide. Look for the raven and place the tablet over the spots of interest. Uh, Salem sinkhole? Okay. Accused, which is Memorial Judge Hawthorne's grave. Interesting. Unmarked graves, Little Liberty statue. So it's not even a tour, it's like a do it yourself. It's a find it thing. Which is fine. Place the tablet over the sinkhole. Oh, there, watch your step. In recent years, oh, okay. There was once a vast network of tunnels beneath Salem, mm. used by smugglers during Sorry, the Sorry, anyone said anything in the Twitch chat? Most would have you believe that these tunnels are now collapsing. But you have to wonder. If there could be something more sinister behind these sudden maws into the underworld. One second, I'm just fixing the Twitch chat. I was all over the place. There we go. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I totally didn't pay attention to that at all, but that's okay. Accuse Witches Memorial. Where would that be? Because, I mean, I can go into the... Nice. Is this the memorial? Shiz. Before you stands Abigail Hathorne, helping the accused witches escape the grasp of the Oh, that's the little brother, girl. Judge Hathorne himself. Abigail freed many from their holding cells until the judge caught her in the act and locked her up in a cell deep within the Hathorne house. 
The statue was given the name Little Liberty in honor of her valiant efforts to free the innocent. Okay. Okay, so I need to find a couple of graves while I'm here. That's an unmarked grave. Oh boy. I am just fighting these controls as hard as I can. Nope. Alexander Bell? Do I need to find his grave? No. Does it say anything about it? Nope, just that he exists. Oh! Was Alexander Bell actually the lady? Maybe it was. These are unmarked graves or something on them. Was this like a directory? Hathorn House. Can't see it from here. Must be deeper in through the trees. Ooh, let's do that. Not yet. There are some more things I'd like to look into before I'm done. Come on, Drew. Yeah, I agree. Come on, dude. Whose grave is this? Roger. Okay. Interesting. I'm sure I've already said something about his name. I just forget it. I'm assuming her grave would be behind it. No, it's just a randomly placed grave. Oh, I suck at this. Who's that? Samuel Shiz Where is Judge Hawthorne's grave at? Thanks for looking with me, DeAndre. You really have been a help. That looks like an important grave. Hmm. So lacking in morals was Judge Hathorn that he sentenced innocents to death while claiming the estates of the dead as his own. That's wild. Unlike the more remorseful Judge Sewell, Hathorn never felt any guilt for his part in the Salem witch trial. Hmm. The Puritan statues. Are the statues inside that thing, I think? Unmarked graves. I don't know what they mean by that, because there's a lot of them that are unmarked. Do I have to, like, look down? Is that why? Ugh. This is... Again, the, the controls on this are disgusting. And they're not even customizable. Like, that's legit an unmarked grave. There's nothing on there. So what does that mean? <sighs> I'm gonna look it up again. I'm just gonna look up this thing real quick. Sorry about this. Take two steps forward. I may have already done this, but I don't know. Is this the unmarked grave? Turn right at the first grave with the judge and apply. Okay, go to the statue of the children in the center. Okay. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna look at this statue. Bring light. Uh. Are the dogs in with me? Exciting commotion going on in the house. Mm. I'm just not smart enough for this game. I think that's what it comes down to. What in the world is going on? Ah, oh, shit. Is. I know you guys don't want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to that. Blah, 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 blah. We know. Oh, I see it. There's an AW on the side there. No. Did I just click on it myself? Look out, you dork. No, I can't get to the side of it. See it from here. Oh snap! That is disgustingly annoying. Oh, you see that? Oh lord! Oh. Now. Can't use that here. Why? Can't use that here. You surely can. Does it really have to be just like straight up? A uh oh. W. Okay. This is the same marking as in Mosam Castle. What a strange coincidence. guys in about 50 years we'll be to the left side of the statue because there's probably something else over there Maybe just that sign for the Hawthorne house is just something I have to put the tablet on versus actually do. Okay. Lies the infamous Hawthorne estate. It was common during the Salem witch trial that the lands of the accused were taken and resold for cheap. The judge himself bought many such lands and on them built his grand estate. The Hathorn House has since come to represent all the wrongs that were inflicted during the trial. Hmm. So... Where are these unmarked graves? Grave is in the museum, which doesn't make sense, but maybe it does. I feel like this game just has performance issues at the end of the day, to be honest with you. Well, 
Well, I think this is one of them. The Salem Museum, known formerly as the Town Hall. Not only a great resource for the Salem Witch Trials, it also holds records of other interesting facets of our local history. Anyone visiting Salem does well to seek out the forbidden knowledge hidden in these halls. The forbidden knowledge. Get the F out of here. Okay, so I was totally wrong. I did nothing. Oh, do I just have to get closer to it or something? The Salem Museum, known formerly as the Town Hall. Not only a great resource for the Salem Witch Trot. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. The figure of a Puritan woman accused of being a witch. These were ordinary people, just like anyone else. Huh. I think I need to go to this thing. The carefully researched genealogy of several accused witches. Their names weren't fully cleared until 2001. Jeez, I wonder if that's true. A time of horror, when the witches who walked the earth were wrongfully prosecuted and thus stripped of everything. These are the ghosts you'll find here in Salem. Their homes taken, their knowledge destroyed, their lives Race. Hmm. I thought that would be the unmarked graves thing. second guys I am sorry I just don't want to spend the next 20 years trying to figure this out okay apparently it's a statue okay I can never get used to that grave to you guys. There's a candle there. I get closer to it. <sighs> Look out, you goofball. Oh? <laughs> Just snipe it with my tablet. Interesting. A condemned witch was forbidden from being buried on consecrated ground, but many victims were buried by loved ones in secrecy, and some may have found their eternal Jeez, that's rest horrifying, actually. Okay, I'm officially exhausted. Let's head back to the Perry house, okay? <laughs> Jeez, I'm officially exhausted. Okay, we're heading back to the house. Hey, we want to tour, uh, whatever your name is. You want to talk to us now? Maybe? Ugh, come on.
What do we do with the car? That group is really chanting up a storm. Okay, let's see. Has them so angry. You know the answer to that. Oh, the car right over here, it's right. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Alright, let's get out of here. Something spooky might happen at nighttime, huh? So, any thoughts? First album was better. Yeah, totally. It's good. That's really? Random like dialogue. This? Why wouldn't I? Yeah, well, they were much better before they changed their basis. I'm in the case. That's what do you think of Very modern. It's a very like modern, judge. relevant topic that yeah, people talk I about a lot, it seems. I think the feeling's new. Well, he's they a weren't jerk. the same as before. Maybe he burned down the Hathorn house. What? You don't think so? It's so random to have this conversation with this music in the background. And you will, once you've gained her trust. Why haven't you done that yet? Because I'm in the car. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? This game is so. We could clear this up tonight. Like self-aware. She's not talking to anyone, it seems. We are all allowed to enjoy some amount of privacy, but her refusal to be interviewed leads me to believe she is hiding something. I can't believe you, Drew. I thought you were here to help. Okay. You know, I not lost everyone can be as brilliant and cold as you are. I'm not cold. And I never it's actually I quite warm in either. here. I'm wearing you a jacket. You need to get May to trust you. If she trusts you, she'll open up and tell you the truth. And then you'll see. You're kind of my last hope to reach her. You're good at finding ways to get people to open up. Usually. So find a way. I'll try. I just heard a really strange sound, and I'm not sure what it came from. Hi. Hey, I met this weird person outside the museum. You want to talk about it? Hey, what are you looking Connect to? with the youth. You like this? It's yeah, awesome, dude. We were dude. listening on the way over. First album was Love that better. 21 pilots epic gamer status, you know. Bassist, I was listening. I'm a great listener. Too bad they changed bassist. Yeah, I know, right? It's just, you don't look like you listen to this music. Why I'm a no cool girl. Leave? Now you know how I feel. Your sister really cares about you. She has a strange way of showing it sometimes. Mm. Well, she cared enough to get Deirdre and I involved. I worry about her. How come? She takes her work really seriously. Like, she cares. Yeah, it's really weird to care about your job, for sure. Like, way more than most normal people do for their passion projects. It's not a hobby, it's more like something she has to do. Kinda sounds like me. I hope not. It's like her personal crusade. Yeah, don't say that. Be cool, Nancy. You can't live your life like that. You need to enjoy it. Live free, enjoy man. People you love. Yeah, believe me, <laughs> I know. Yeah, my boyfriend is poofing some shit wherever he's at. Should I be cool with her? Or ask her if she knows anything about Olivia? Shiz. Uh, but I'm here to help. I know you don't know me that well. But I'm here to help you. I didn't burn down the half one house. Why does everyone think you did? It's called prejudice. I look different. Yeah, I have blonde hair. Most people have black that hair. Seem like a good reason to burn down a building. Just because you're wearing spooky Can pants or whatever doesn't make it. I wouldn't. Stupid. It's not the way you look. It's gone. Did you ever visit the estate? All the time. I appreciated it. Oh? Why? Because it's historically significant? It was built by a cold, brutal man who sent a bunch of people to their death because he didn't understand them. I appreciate being reminded of what happens when greedy people stay in charge. That's a weird way of saying that. <laughs> Did you know Francis Tuttle very well? 
No. But I know her daughter Lauren has that Ooh, shop. She can be my in. You ever been inside? No. Why would I go there? I was just wondering if you knew her. I don't. I mean, I know she used to hang with my sister. I mean, we used to hang out like every day, like five days. I guess a week. they fell out or something. That's all I know. That's about it. Can you tell me anything about Olivia Ravencroft? Anything at all? I can tell you she doesn't get along with my sister. Really? Interesting. Why? I don't know. They had some falling out a while ago. You should ask her. Do you think Olivia would have any reason to like that? Did you think you could shut down the music just a Let little bit? <laughs> Olivia is what we call in this town part of the witch business. Anything dramatic, the quote unquote or with witch fire, business. She's usually involved. Can you just say the witch so business? I think she did it. I didn't say that. I just think it's possible that she could have. Maybe, okay. possibly, Thanks. could have, maybe. Look, I spoke with the judge. They don't have anything on you. Seems All like history is repeating alibi. itself, to and be honest. Is that what the point of this game is? And they're not going to have anything on me. Because he can't prove I did it. Then why not just give the police an alibi? That's all they need. I just can't. It's not okay. Oh, so she for sure knows who did it. But I can't help you or anyone else if I don't know who they are. Just I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I can't. Do you and the judge know each other? <laughs> this is like She's incriminating herself, basically. A bad influence. Why? Because I used to because be I wear weird son. pants. His son has had an interesting life, and he thinks it's my fault. He holds a grudge against me. Really? That sounds surprising. <laughs> they probably were doing you live in a small town long enough. Pot together. Got their minds about who you are. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. It just is. Tegan at the museum. That's funny. Looks like she's Probably working on took the kid's virginity or something like that. And he freaked you out. Her? Well, I thought you might have an opinion, or I don't. Can you just leave her out of this? I don't want her being involved with my problems. You could go to jail, Dental, my, for okay. a very long time. Let's talk to Deidre about this. Well. She's just standing there with her arms crossed like a psychopath. Okay, yeah, Avi. But what? I don't know yet. I'm getting through to her, though. We have to go to the Hathorn house. Tonight. Whoa. Tonight. Like, in the dark. Yeah. Do you have flashlights? You do remember what I told you about that place, right? You know Nancy, what? you... Better idea. You are something. I'll go. You stay here and see if maybe May feels like talking to you. Be careful out there, Drew. There's no such thing as ghosts, dear. Hey, I'm just gonna take your car. No, not ghosts. People swear there's something in that house. Too many people believe it to not be true. Could That's be a wild the stupidest animal thing or I've a ever toxic heard. waste dump. I don't know. Just keep your guard up, okay? Or crackheads wow. in a burned down That's house. Really sweet. Yeah, all right. Let's not hug or anything. You should check in with Lauren Holt. She still lives up there. Take the keys for my car. It's way too far of a walk all the way there. And remember, things happen after midnight in Salem. <laughs> Be careful. Are insane, Deidre. All right, see you later, Mr. Eggs. Bye bye now. I am spooked. Wait, where's the Hawthorne house? Can I go? Time one? is of the essence. Best take the car back to the Perry home. What? That's not what? That's Oh, it's over here by the cemetery. No time to explore outside Salem's old town center until this case is closed. I think that's still a part of Salem, isn't it? Ooh, spooky. Oh god. Okay. 
I just jumped. <laughs> Should have my camera on for this part. Her real man. Yeah, well, guess where I am right now. I uh wouldn't even begin to. Salem, Massachusetts. Joe, how the heck did you guys know? We read about the Hathorn House in the Globe. Oh, I just jumped so hard. Your name was mentioned. Not as a suspect, obviously. <laughs> Tegan Perry mentioned she had hired you to investigate. Hired? Huh. That's news to me. I came here as a favor for Deirdre. Deirdre Shannon? Wow, that's surprising. Yeah, it's a strange case all around. So, what can I help you guys with? Well, we're working this case and a few legal questions have arisen. My father would probably be more helpful than me, guys. Yeah, well, we prefer to call you because of, you know... You know, we can smoke crack that one time. What my brother is trying to say is that there are some similarities to an old case we worked on. Sure. If you want to send me your notes, I can look them over for you. Great. That's great. Salem's pretty close to Boston. If you guys have the time, you should come up here and check it out while I'm in town. Really? Yeah. It would be good to catch up. Eh, I don't know, Nancy. I can convince my undying love for you. For witches. Heard they don't fare well up there. Are you kidding me? They love you guys. Did you know that Salem is the only police force that has a witch as an official emblem? Hmm, I don't think that's true. <laughs> I'll bet uh, you you're are. a big fucking liar. Okay, you're on. I'll take payment when we arrive in Salem. Maybe in a week or so. Okay. Are they actually coming? Hopefully, I won't be here. Yeah. Long. But if you can make it up earlier, great. Good no, I'm just hearing you, noises. Man. Yeah, same to you two. Bye. Freaking me out. I did really get spooked there, though. Holy crap. Oh, what? Oh, you're such a dork, Deidre. Just, no. Forever and ever. Oh, okay. No more heart attacks, please. Nancy gets shot in the leg. That's a weird looking light. No worries about that. My heart is racing so fast. Oh, uh, boy. <sighs> I feel like the credits are going to work. What are you doing here? <sighs> are you Lauren Holt? You're trespassing. This is private property. I'm giving you one chance to explain I'm a detective. Yourself. I need to speak with Lauren Holt. I'm an investigator. I'm an investigator. <laughs> I'm a friend of May What Perry. the f What? <laughs> what kind of res not. response was that? Friends, except Tegan. So you're either May's friend, or you're an investigator. But you're not both. So what are you? My response was that I'm an investigator. None of these responses make sense. as you think. I know her a lot better than you do. Can I come in? 
Well, you're not leaving, are you? What is this conversation? I've never had one like that. Where just none of the My answers. Name is Nancy Drew. What do you want, Nancy Drew? Well, Made sense. I wanted to talk to you about about the Hathorn House. No. Sit down. You drink tea? Yes, of course. I didn't I mean think I'm to already lie sitting. To you, yes, you did. You wanted to talk to me by any means. So here we are. So, what do you want to know? What was that? What was that thing she just did with her hand? I really do appreciate you talking to me. Are you done with your questions yet? No. Oh. Cool. She's just rude like everyone else in this town. What can you tell me about the history of the Hathorn House? Built by Judge John Hathorn in 1695, the man flat out stole the land from the people he sentenced to death. Property has changed hands many times over the years, with Francis Tuttle being the most recent owner. Hmm. Have you looked for the will? Of course, but I can't find it. Believe me, I don't I've know why I wouldn't. To find it, and now the judge has given me days to deliver, or the town will take control. That's crazy. This a is a repeat of history. I, know when I it just exists. realized that. Francis told me all the time that the Hathorn House and its grounds would be mine if something ever happened to her. She knew that I would take care of this place better than anyone else. What happens to you? I won't be here anymore. But I have representation. A professional lawyer. Her name's Alicia Cole. She's helping me out. Hmm. Is Luminous Infusions your shop? Yes. What do you do there? Just curious. If it's, it's her a shop. Room and modern apothecary. You know, before there was a pharmacist, the town relied on an herbalist to provide medicines for headaches. Oh, so you do nothing sickness. at all. And energy. But you used to sell and healing like crystals that. too. Interesting. Did Francis Tuttle teach you this? No, I taught myself. Why wow, does she keep doing cool. that? Can, can that be one of the questions? What were you doing two nights ago? Why do you care? The house was burned a week ago. Well, actually, there's something else I'm looking into as well. I've almost had enough of your questions. Okay, so she's definitely her, even though I have no idea what she's referring to. So, I saw the ghost out in the cemetery. The scarecrow? Yeah. I've heard there were ghosts out here, but all I saw was that. Do you believe in ghosts? Nope. <laughs> I've seen a lot of weird things. So far, I've yet to find one without a rational explanation. Then there's nothing to talk about. But why does everyone does think mean? there are ghosts out here? This is the like a conversation that you find in the Amazing Spider-Man. Unbelievable stories. So you've seen one. You don't live here. You wouldn't understand. So you have. Look, Lauren. I apologize for approaching you like I did. It was wrong, and I should have known better. Oh, Nancy, you're I such a. I appreciate you being straight with me. Douche. I'm sorry, I've been a little angry. I've been dealing with a lot lately. I'm I can't a get a read on how this conversation's gonna go. Enough, don't you? Of course. An apology for Thanks like for property invasion. I appreciate it. What the? Whoever is doing this? That is weird. Not frightening me away. Not possible. That's not possible. That's weird. Curse not done. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Drew! What's going on? You weren't answering your phone. What's happening? What's wrong? I saw it. Her. I guess it could have been him, too. It was too confusing to really make out. What are you talking about? I uh, ghost. The ghost, Deirdre. The ghost at Hathorn. Is it gonna be in the window behind here? Wow. 
never thought you'd try to pull a joke like this. I've underestimated you. This is a really good performance. Very on Nancy Drew like. Who? Okay. Deirdre, I saw her. Didn't you want me to see it? Didn't you want me to look into it? Well, yeah, but I didn't think for a second that you would. I guess I thought you'd go up there and find smoke and mirrors or whatever it is you do. You're saying it's real? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not used to being so freaked out. Wait, you didn't leave my car out there, did you? Oh. What? No. no. Calm down enough to drive that was a weird thing to ask. Why would Good. someone, I if you're scared, you definitely want to be in your car. You chowder. Don't think it'll help. Chowder is not sense. what you need on okay. an uneasy stomach. So let's go through it. I do find what <laughs> Let's just talk about Lauren Holt then. Interesting from Lauren Holt. Did you know that Francis Tuttle had a will? Judge Danforth never mentioned that. Because they can't find it, they assume it doesn't exist. That's so a if it lame exist, thing to say. Lauren would get the estate. Yeah. Oh, and that lawyer Alicia Cole represents her. How's that working out for her? There doesn't seem to be much progress made. Yeah. Well, without a will, what could she really do? There's tell some you, really Drew. loud thunder. It's, it's louder than their conversation. It's ice cream and sandals with socks. But my instinct is... Ugh. So there's gonna be something behind her. You're not buying Olivia's story that some coven of witches came here to unleash ghosts to take revenge by burning it down. No, I don't think so. Right? Right. It's unlikely anyway. You really think what you saw was real? It's worth it. I think in order to know, I need to see it again, and you need to come with me, tomorrow. Okay, and then we can plan road trips to find Bigfoot and aliens and the Loch Ness Monster. Sure. Hey, sounds fun to me. It's been a long day. I think I'm just gonna call it a night. You do look kinda... Well, maybe don't video chat with the boyfriend. Oh, sweet, At thanks. At least not until you get the twigs out of your hair. <laughs> I appreciate He's your probably concern. just... Hey. What? Dogging some chick now? right now in his room. The offer expired. I was going to say, we make a pretty good team. We haven't done anything Maybe together. Proof right there. You are definitely hallucinating. Is it? No, oh, it's Joe. There's always an explanation. Gotta remember that. What is the town of Greenwich, New York? Sorry. They have a witch on their emblem. We oh, won. gotcha, Nancy, really? dumb bimbo. You a pick. When can we expect she does payment? need to go to the museum more often. <laughs> That's a fire department logo. I said police. Public safety. It's all the same. A technicality. There's They'll be talking about that one for years. Chest. I saw a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, what? This case. I've never seen anything like it. It felt real. I can't explain it. What is it? What's wrong? I saw a ghost. Say no more. It just so happens that ghost hunting is our specialty. Wait, what? We're not passing on a chance like this. Be there before you know it. <laughs> Only if you really want to. Talk to you later. Okay, this this is going to more places now. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, sunshine. <sighs> okay. What time is it? It's early. Hurry up, get dressed, and meet me downstairs. I have something to cheer you up. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna pause it. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. That was enough jump scares for today for me. <laughs> see ya.